everybody, I am Husky Light, thanks for stopping by. Right, you've got a totally different intro than the uh, the fire in the water signs that I did yesterday because like a numpty I've managed to delete my intro so I'm starting again. Um, this um, is going to be, um, I've split it up into earth, fire, air and water um, and this is about your mineral salts. Western Western doctors don't teach it, don't know this sort of thing, don't learn this sort of thing. It's not included in Western medicine. Um, and it's really, really important and it would help so many people. Um, each astrological sign is connected to a part of the body and that part of the body or parts of the body, depending on which sign you have, all relate to a certain mineral salt. The mineral salt that is connected to your sun sign is really important for you for your health for optimum health um, and so I'm going to go through this in this series of videos for you um, it governs governs that part of the body uh, you will be full of energy a lot of the um, diseases and or afflictions that you are prone to as a certain sun sign because we all whichever part of the body it relates to we will have certain afflictions and that so i'll go through those as well um so you can get an idea of it the mineral salts that i mention for each sign are found in certain foods so i'll go through the foods with you you can also find these in capsule or tablet form and if you go onto amazon or if you go into a health shop or look on google you can take it in that form as well but it's very very important for our general well-being and for our health long term as well also while i'm going through all this i might as well throw in a little bit about your personality your sun sign personality which is general so there will be things in there that may not apply or or you'll be, really resonate with um i'll mention what your gemstone is or your crystal for your particular sun sign um and your color and which house rules your sun sign or which or where your sun sign is in which house as well because that's numerology comes into it as well and is very important and the last thing to say before i forget i've just had to start recording again um your sun sign is time stamped and written below okay so that it's easy to find it so you can look it up okay namaste bye <laughs> Hi Taurus, let's start off with you and let's go into a little bit of your personality um, traits, the good and the bad. Um, and remember this is this part is just general, not all of this will apply to you and depending on what date and time you were born, um, you can obviously have other planetary and moon signs and everything else influencing you as well. But on the whole, um, first of all your I am statement, your I am affirmation is I have. Taurians are collectors of things usually, uh, visible and invisible. Uh, unfortunately, you can even collect people, okay? <laughs> Sometimes you can carry a grudge for many years. Patience and perseverance are chief qualities of Taurus. The I have energy makes Taurians very materialistic and possessive, especially of their loved ones. You are the most possessive sign of the zodiac because Taurus governs the throat and the vocal cords. Um, you make also make the best musicians, the best singers, um, people like Janet Jackson, Janet Jackson, Cher, Luther Vandross, Stevie Wonder, James Brown, Barbara Streisand, Bing Crosby. Um, they're all Tauruses, um, so you're in really good company there. You are very disciplined as well, persevering, patient, loyal, faithful, trustful, especially in relationships, very open and honest um, and direct with people, kind, considerate, loving, trustworthy, trustworthy, dependable, very helpful to other people, very charming, very charismatic and magnetic as well. Taurus corresponds with the second house, which is the money house. So this deals with such things as finances, possessions, um, ethical principles, um, stocks and shares, that sort of thing. Taurians are great with finances and they make excellent economists, bankers, financial advisors, business managers, um, also speakers 
as well as being musicians and singers, um, political leaders and activists as well. Poverty thoughts or thoughts of lack or scarcity can trigger some of your health problems, which we're going to go into um, in a minute. And also be careful of depression and feeling a little bit sad sometimes. Taurus is ruled by Venus, which is a planet of love and beauty. Therefore, Taurians are natural um, aesthetics, uh, just like the cousin Libra, which is me. I'm a Libra. Um, you love good food, you love good drink, you love beautiful things, you love beautiful possessions, you love the human body as an art form as well. Romance, intimacy, sex, balance, um, and nature, the outdoors. Be careful of being stubborn, obviously, you are the bull. Um, and be careful so sometimes as well, if you get too angry, you can be a little bit um, rude when you speak, vulgar. Um, hot-tempered, moody, moody and a little bit risque as well. Taurus is an earth sign, uh, thus you are very practical and grounded. You are a feminine sign which is receptive and you're fixed, um, which makes you extra stubborn as well, being a fixed sign, um, especially when change comes around. But your good points far outweigh the bad points in this. So. Let's move on to your mineral salts and what you need and what parts of the body you rule. So you rule the thyroid. Um, you govern the neck and the throat area, which also includes the tonsils, um, the vocal cords. You're very prone to neck injuries and diseases such as hypothyroidism. Um, strep throat, itchy scratchy throat, tonsillitis, sore throats, colds, summer colds, uh, swollen lymph nodes um, which are under your face and your, your chin. Um, most throat ailments actually, unfortunately Taurus, um, and mucous membranes as well. You're very are more sensitive than in any other sign. Um, and your metabolism as well is prone to underactivity, as I've as I've said. Sodium sulfate is a mineral salt for you. It acts mainly as a regulator of body fluid, a tonic to the throat, and a good liver detoxifier. So, the really good foods that you can get sodium sulfate in, and remember, like I've said, you can get it in tablet form or capsule form as well, uh, from places like Amazon, your health shop, um, the internet. So foods are spinach, silver beet, Swiss chard, cabbage, cauliflower, cucumber, celery, pumpkin, onion, apples and strawberries. And I'm sure if you looked it up on Google, you will find even more foods as well. So sodium sulfate is the mineral salt that you need to keep down inflammation um, and to deal with um, especially throat issues as well. Because of this... Um, Sometimes you could also get a high temperature as well, especially um, if you've got tonsillitis or something like that. So your colours and your crystals. Well, your colour um, is rose, any sort of brown ranging from light brown to deep brown. And your crystal or your gem is the emerald um, and also colour bright green as well. So if you either wear these colours or you add them into your decorations in home, that will bring health and a feeling of energy around you as well. And finally, Taurus, because you are in house number two, you resonate um, and have the vibration of number two. So what goes with number two? It's the vibration of service and duty, balance and harmony, adaptability, diplomacy. I'm going to switch over. I'm going to go through the negative and then I'm going to go through the positive. Um, sometimes there is indifference, the inability to take responsibility, a little bit of pessimism, dependency, indecisiveness, hesitate, hesitation, blah, I hesitated saying that, lack of balance, instability, um, unemotional and unloving. And on the positive side, you are the peacemaker, you are gentle, you have wonderful abilities in the art, in the field of art, insightfulness, ambitious uh, sensitivity placid, beautiful uh, feelings of doing justice and making sure everything is fair. 
selflessness, sociability, support, attention to detail, poise, intuition, um, grace, devotion, mediation, partnerships, relationships, encouragement, happiness, um, faith, trust and serving and living your divine purpose and your soul mission. So you are definitely on the right track for most of you. So I hope this helped and I hope the mineral salt part especially helps you on your way to optimum health. Okay, bye. Hi Virgo, let's start by looking at the traits, your personality on a, on a basic level um, with Virgos. First of all, your I am statement is I analyze. Virgos are extremely analytical um, and they are very critical, not only of yourself, but you can be critical of other people as well. Um, you are very detail orientated, perfectionist, meticulous, observant, loves purity. So you love cleanliness, organization, order. You'd hate it at my house with kids and dogs. Um, very flat, frank, very blunt. You can be a little bit sharp tongued at times, but you're very witty, witty practical, down to earth, hard working. Um, Virgos are best suited for jobs um, and make good employees, nurses, teachers and counsellors. Virgo corresponds to the sixth house, which corresponds to the health house that deals with your health, harvest, hygiene, work and service and employment. Virgos are health conscious and hygienic individuals. You love to serve people, which makes them excellent in the health team and in the medical field, things like nurses and doctors, um, ambulance staff, that sort of thing. On the bad side, you can be a little bit stern, a little bit cynical, dogmatic, opinionated and frivolous. They're very sh you're very shy as well sometimes and you only open up to people that you really, really trust. You are also very, very sensual uh, when you open up in love and romance. You're governed by Mercury, which is very much like Gemini. So you're actually very communicative, intellectual, logical and curious and very attracted to intelligence. Because Virgo, you mentally digest a lot of information, data and knowledge. You are prone to um, digestive disorders, which I will get into right now. So as a Virgo, you rule the abdomen, the intestines, the belly and the liver, or stomach, um, and therefore are prone to digestive problems. Um, stomach cancer, duodenal ulcers, colitis, hemorrhoids, diverticulitis, stomach ache, digestive pain, liver problems as well can come about with you. These will be the, the biggest things that you suffer from. Virgo health has much to do with the condition of the mind. So it's what you think. If you're worrying, if you have anxiety, um, environmental influences as well can slowly deplete the nervous system and leaving it in an irritable state. The digestion, digestion suffers also with malabsorption, which means you don't absorb your food properly. Constipation, diarrhea, dyspepsia, um, Things like that, when things like that come up, yoga and um, good food combining can help with that. Your mineral salt is potassium sulfate. Okay, this is your mineral salt. This is what's going to help you uh, on the way to health. It's known as a strong purifier and a regulator of oxygen use in tissue. That's why it's so good for you. Good sources of potassium sulfate. Um, this is just a small amount of foods that you could eat. If you look it up on the internet, I'm sure you can find loads more. Um, but good sources are chicory, which is coffee, um, endive, cress, wheat, oats, rye, cheese, and almonds. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, you can take it in capsule form or tablet form as well from your health shop, from Amazon, from um, the internet. Your colours and your gemstones. Well, your colours are browns, beiges and all the autumn tones, all the tones of the, the leaves falling off the trees in the autumn. And you've got a wonderful um, crystal or gemstone. It's called the peridot, which is the picture there. Um, I think it's a little bit lighter than an emerald is. So, and if you use these colors and if you get this crystal and you put them around the house, wear 
the brown and beiges and the autumn tones that will really help you out health wise and give you a lot of energy as well and lastly Virgo because you're in the sixth house um, then you your vibrations and your energies um, resonate with number six and number six is all about unconditional love balance and harmony home and family parenthood guardianship service to others responsibility nurturing caring having empathy for others sympathy self-sacrifice humanitarianism as well the ability to be able to compromise emotional depth honesty and integrity adjustment stability protection let me show the negative before I go back to the positive I can stick them in the middle negative <laughs> sometimes there are weaknesses and being weak-willed um, having a superiority complex impractability being slightly shallow sometimes submissiveness restlessness unsupportiveness um, and getting very easily stressed and back to the positives seeing clearly teaching convention curiosity peace and peacefulness circulation grace and dignity reliability having your material needs met economy providing and provision agriculture and growth and musical talent too so wonderful virgos i hope this especially the part on the mineral salts helps you towards your optimum health okay bye hi capricorn let's start off with a little bit about your personality as a capricorn it is general so it won't cover all of you but it will cover some aspects of you first of all your i am affirmation and statement is i use um capricorns are <laughs> utilitarians you will use everything um, around you and within your home capricorns are like all earth signs are very practical grounded and down to earth they're very patient stable and reliable ambitious persistent persevering um, hard working diligence uh, possess great business skills savvy and acumen you're very good with finances and are very conservative with your money as well you can display great concentration. You are very loyal in your relationships and friendships. Trustworthy, charitable and self-reliance. Um, Capricorn, you correspond with the 10th house, which is the business house, which deals with businesses, careers, social standing, success and honour. Capricorns are great business people and you have a great business mind. You're very career orientated. They are generally successfully <clears throat> in life and honourable people due to their philanthropy i'm so glad i got through that word in one go <laughs> they will pursue things that give them honor in life um so you will look for position status college degrees university degrees things like that capricorn you are governed by the planet saturn um which sometimes deals with pessimism um obstacles delays hard work research but lasting rewards after a long struggle um, it takes you a while to get there, but and you struggle, but then you've got the rewards coming through to you. Therefore, Capricorns, sometimes you can be pessimistic and negative because you have to go through so much struggle and work um, <clears throat> and obstacles. Capricorn, you are an earth sign. You are feminine, which is receptive and cardinal as well. Now, as a Capricorn, um, you rule parts of the body like the skin the bones the knees the skeletal system and your teeth as well you are prone to diseases such as joint disorders such as tendonitis rheumatism rheumatoid arthritis knee problems knee injuries cartilage problems bone and skeletal problems osteoarthritis osteoporosis frail bones teeth problems tooth decay decay cavities stained teeth um and skin diseases as well under blood disorders so skin eruptions um, breaking out in spots edemas as well now isn't that lovely <laughs> don't worry I've got a cure um, Capricorns though actually is said to grow younger with years your health should improve and outlook brightening as you grow older in life um, if you are a little bit of a hypochondriac or a little bit gloomy that will afflict you as well if you have morbid tendencies and despondence um 
<coughs> so things like arthritis, disorders of the bones and the teeth, poor circulation, constipation as well. Um, your mineral salt is calcium phosphate. Okay, this is really important for the nutrition of bone and helps stabilize your nervous system. So foods that are found in um, calcium phosphates, dairy products, okay? I don't personally endorse dairy products because it's not good for your third eye. However, you can take it in tablet or capsule form as well. Other things though are cabbage, asparagus, lentils, beans, spinach, eggs, meat, wheat, parsley, strawberries, figs, blueberries and plums. Your colours and your gemstone or your crystal. Um, colours are browns and blacks are best for you. That brings out the most energy in, to, in for you. Um, and also you look amazing in brown or black. Also, the crystal or gem is the blue sapphire, which is an absolutely beautiful one. If you can get one for your home, just little ones to decorate the home, that will also bring enormous energy to you. And finally, Capricorn, because you are in the 10th house, your number is number 10, which can also break down to um, a one. And the energies and the vibrations that resonate with your number are new beginnings, creation, independence, uniqueness, motivation, striving forward and progress, ambition and willpower. On the negative side of things, before I go back to the positive, you can be very single-minded sometimes, have an intolerance, conceited, lacking in emotion and being weak-willed but you have far more positives than outweigh the negatives. On the side again of the positives, you have the energies of pioneering, raw energy, force, activity, self-leadership, assertiveness, instincts and intuition, masculine attributes of organization, achievement, success, strength, self-reliance, forcefulness, love, inspiration, glory, happiness, fame, fulfillment, and creating your own realities. You are a re you are a co-creator. So I hope this helps you. I really hope that the mineral salt part um, helps and it aids you on the on the road to optimum health. So bye for now.